Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and welcome to a sort of a slightly more detour, detailed um, pineapple guava or feijoa uh, fruit tasting or variety tasting video, and just a quick discussion about the fruits and what you should or shouldn't be doing with them when they're getting ready to being ripe and just have a look at the different varieties uh, now just to run through these in order this is that little if you saw the video about a week or so ago i had an immature fruit fall an underdeveloped fruit fall off my unique um, which i've left in the fruit bowl to see if it would soft soften a bit and ripen um, I would say that these, I must point out that some of these fruits are not necessarily representative of what you will get off mature uh, pineapple guava trees. Some of these smaller fruits you'll see here are of very young pot growing trees that have just had their first flowers this year and set a couple of fruits so I would expect them as the plants grow, uh, as the plants grow bigger and get better established to produce um, fruits that will look very different to what you can see here but just to run through them as I said this is the immature fruit from my unique that fell prematurely in some storms we had it's a very young plant it's got one more fruit on it which is a much better size than this I've protected with a bag um, these fruits here have just come today off Nikita. Now it does appear that they have this, again it's a little bit hard to be represented because these are very small, probably undersized fruits from a very young plant. This is only flowered and showing fruits for the first time. But this is Nikita, but you can probably see the fruits have got this sort of strange pointed into them and it may well be next year if it fruits they look nothing like this at all but i thought it'd still be interesting to bring them in and perhaps cut them open and see if they have any variation on the inside these fruits here two of these fruits are these two are from my triumph i haven't yet got any fruits that have dropped on my mammoth but these dropped in the heavy winds and rain we've had in the last couple of days um, I'm not convinced they're at peak ripeness. Now, I would say one thing about uh, pineapple guavas and feijoas and the question of ripeness. Um, I've been studying, I watched some lengthy videos by um, what I call pineapple guava or feijoa growing specialists in California and there was a chap I watched the video who has literally dozens of varieties and has done his own breeding programs and he's introducing lots of new varieties to the American market and he pointed out that although people generally think that when they've dropped it means they're ripe he said in practice he feels that they once they drop they should then be put in a fruit bowl on your kitchen counter and left for another three or four days to reach peak ripeness now these have been inside for a couple of days so it would be interesting to see um, if they have reached a high degree of ripeness and finally this is an unknown fruit now it looks very similar to how the fruits are starting to look at my mammoth so it could well be a mammoth um, it's come from it was collected from a secret location that for various reasons uh, I can't reveal and but I'm going to cut the fruit open and have a look now this was picked from a plant not dropped and therefore is almost certainly not developed to full ripeness but the reason I was interested in it is because the size of it um, which I weighed which was over 90 grams so I'm going to get my scales out in a minute and we'll just weigh some of these fruits for people just to see the uh, comparison so i'll pause the video and get the scales out so welcome back so the first one is uh, this one is the little tiny fruit off the unique so what i'm going to as i've only got one of these at the moment i'm going to cut it across now this is as i suspected very let me let you have a look this is very dry inside there's no um there's no gel or juiciness in the middle. So I'm going to guess that this will probably be 
quite unpleasant to eat. I think it's going to be dry and quite bitter. Now I'm going to cut a slice off it because I'd like to try a bit with the skin because some of them have skin that's more edible than on others. Cut it open now. So that's definitely not what I'd consider an edible fruit. That's bitter. You can see it's underripe because the seeds haven't developed. So this one has fallen off, unfortunately, very, very, um, this has fallen off very immaturely. So that's unique. Definitely can't give you a decent tasting profile of that. So I'm gonna try the largest Nikita I've got now and see if this is edible. Let's see what the inside looks on this. Now that's interesting, this is quite a pale, sort of a very pale buttery yellow colour. Now I would say, looking at this one, that it's got quite a nice, quite a nice gel in the centre. So if I can squeeze some juice out of this one, I'm going to give this a quick testing with the refractometer and see what the sugar level's like on it, because it looks on the face of it like quite a promising fruit, but this will give an indication of what the sugar content's like. So this one's a 12, this is dead on 12 on the bricks. So let's, without any further ado, I'm going to taste this uh, the good old way with a spoon, eat them like a boiled egg. It's quite soft in the middle, looking quite promising, certainly ripe. Mm, it's quite, um, it's a mild taste. It's got that typical sort of um, floral, almost almost a medicinal smell and flavour that I feel these pineapple guavas tend to have. I'm going to take a slice of it as well, but it's nice and soft, so I'm quite pleased with this. I'm going to take a slice of it with the skin and see what the skin is like. Okay, the skin is very soft. Very soft on this one, definitely thin. So this is Nikita, remember we're tasting here. Skin's definitely edible on this, it's thin, it's smooth. The fruit's not grainy, some of these have a grainy texture to the flesh. Mm. I'll definitely eat the skin on the key so that wouldn't be a concern. Now we're going to try one of my triumph fruits. It doesn't seem to be anything to choose between the ripeness level of them. Let's see what the inside looks like. Now this one here is interesting. Instead of the four soft sections in the middle, this one this one's actually got five. Um, and it looks quite jellyfied inside, better than the Triumph I had the other day. Again, I'm going to try the, I'm going to give the refractometer a quick wipe. And we'll try the sugar content on this one. The juice is squirted out, so it's certainly one of the juiciest pineapple guavas I've had. Let's see what the sugar content's like on this one. Now that's lower. That's only 10 on the brick scale compared to the 12 of the uh, Nikita. So I'm expecting this to have, to be possibly a bit more tangy and citrusy than the Nikita. So let's see, so this is Triumph. It is soft in the middle, which is promising. Um, there is some variation in flavour. A little bit more citrusy, I'd say. This, a little bit more lemony. But it's pleasant. Little tanginess to it. It's a bit more acidic, but that might be because of slightly lower sugar level. Let's cut a slice 
with the uh, with the skin. I think the skin's tougher on this. No, the fruit's edible on that. The skin's edible on that. Pleasant. Very pleasant. Now I'm going to cut the other triumph in half as well because I'm interested to see if it's got the same number of lobes in the centre. And again, that appears to have five to six lobes in. And you can see the seeds are quite obviously... Uh, quite brown on that so they're quite obvious the seeds again I'm going to try the sugar content on this one just to see if it's the same as the first triumph because maybe some varieties have less sugar in them than others and that's just under 11 so that's got slightly more sugar in it than the first of the triumph but they're very similar otherwise very similar looking inside. Let's taste this one as well. See if it's uh, if that extra sugar represents something of taste. But these these are very pleasant. These are the best pineapple guavas I've had this year. Compared to previous years, that's softer, juicier. Yeah, that's a very very that's a very edible fruit. I'm enjoying these. The tripe is a little bit grainier, the flesh, than on the Nikita, but that might be simply to do with the fruit this particular year, but it is definitely a grainier fruit. The skin's a little bit thicker, but the skin is definitely, um, the skin is edible on it. Very nice. And finally, we're going to try this large one, which as far as I'm concerned, having picked under ripe, is not going to be anywhere near as pleasant inside. The size doesn't always matter anyway. But we'll cut it open and see what it looks like. Okay, this is much harder. There's no way this is ripe. Now this has got four. We're back down to four lobes inside, which I think is going to be very reminiscent of mammoth. So I'm wondering if this possibly is it could just be a seed growing fee jawa or it could be or pineapple guava or it could simply be a mammoth but the plant's not labelled um, again I'm going to take some juice out of it it is producing a fair bit of juice so it's although it's not as ripe as the others seems to be okay let's have a look at the uh... okay it's interesting that's actually higher than either of mine that's 12 and a half. So although it doesn't seem to be ripe on the face of it, it's actually quite promising inside. So let's taste this one. It's a bit hard in the middle. It's harder. Now it's been sitting in my fruit bowl for about a week. It's not as soft as the the ones that have come off my own plants. Again, it's got a graininess to it. It's not as easy to eat the outside of the flesh because it's not, it's not as ripe. But I'm surprised the sugar content's higher than on my variety. So I'll be looking forward to seeing how my mammoth compares when I get some of those off my plant. I'm gonna cut the slice off the plant, but it is way firmer, and to me, the skin looks a lot thicker. Oh yeah. The skin is much, much tougher and thicker on this. Um, and the other interesting thing is to see, you know it's not ripe, that it was picked way under ripe because the seeds are still white on it. They haven't got any brownness on them at all. Can eat the skin, but unfortunately that fruit is a little bit more medicinal. But unfortunately that fruit, it's actually quite sweet in the middle, interestingly, because the sweeter part of the fruit is in the middle. This jellified area with the white flesh in the middle of it, 
generally is a sweeter part but if you like your man your guavas for example more sour then you might prefer the outside but i'm really now the plants are a year old and my triumph ones are definitely or at least these larger ones are definitely much better well i think they'd be really good i think they'd be really good in a fruit salad um, or you could possibly juice them or you could slice them um, you could sprinkle them with sugar or uh, or lemon juice if you prefer lemon juice on them and of course if you wanted to eat them as a lot of oriental people eat them out in the far east and probably in india um, if you had them a little bit less ripe you could actually eat them with they eat them with salt on i think or dipped in a sort of a shrimp paste but I'm very pleased with those um so far this year it's early days i've still got lots more to fall but i thought there might be some people who'd be interested in the comparison the only one that's completely non-representative is this unique because this unique unfortunately did as i suspect fall off several weeks immature really and this is this is not it's not an edible fruit at all although i've tasted it there's no juice in it it's dry it's bitter um, not representative but the other ones even the skin on this Nikita is actually uh, surprisingly edible unusual flavour they're not a fruit that's like anything else that you've ever tasted I suspect so you can only really get a feel for them by eating <laughs> eating fresh uh, pineapple guavas or fijoas when they fall off the tree um, I'd love to try one of the really big varieties from uh, America, uh, well, from New Zealand, like uh, Anatoki or Kakariki, because I I believe, <coughs> excuse me, have a lot more soft flesh in the middle of the fruit, which would make them probably a lot sweeter and juicier. But very pleased with what I'm getting so what I'm getting so far. One thing I would say about them is you need to eat them quite quickly because they actually oxidise and turn. They're still edible, but they turn, uh, they discolour and go a brownish colour very quickly after they're eaten. So it's not a fruit you leave around once you cut it open, unless you were putting it in a fruit salad. Um, but I think if you squeezed a bit of lemon on it, it would probably hold its colour. Anyway, that was my um, pineapple guava or Fijawa tasting video, which I'm hoping some people have enjoyed watching. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, you can share the video if you think someone will be interested in these fruits, especially if they haven't come across them before. And please remember to uh, click on the bell if you'd like to know when new videos come out. I'll catch up with you all soon. It's Brett out for now.